Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Halo in Brown Sable. New to the Noriko line, really pretty style. So I will talk about the color, the cup construction, um, styling options, etc. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. So before we start, I would like to say thank you to Trent Kovics for sending me this piece on loan so I can review her for you. So let's start with the color Brown Sable, new to the Noriko line. Beautiful color. I would say this is a cool brunette, at least neutral leaning cool brunette. What you have is a neutral medium brown base with cool light brown highlights. And you have the lighter pieces framing your face. So that always adds a little bit of radiance to your face. I tried this on and the color just got me. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I will obviously take you outside later on so you can see this in the natural light. I only have a ring light on at the moment and a big window on this side. So it is pretty much in natural light at the moment. But just to give you a better idea, purely outside in a minute. So with Harlow, what you have is a shoulder length layered piece with some face framing layers, which I think is just so flattering. Nice movement. Um, basic cap, so no lace front, no mono top or part. Um, it's, it's a really pretty style. Very nice, everyday, pretty style. So let's look at Harlow from all sides. So let's have a quick look at the cup construction, basic cup construction, no lace front, no mono part, mono top, um, open wefts, sides and back. You have material covered ear taps and pull adjusters and you don't have an extended nape. So basic cap keeps the price point down. So you have no lace front. So I think you want to keep your fringe sweeping to the side. So obviously no mono top, that also means you can part it wherever you like really. <laughs> so um, there is permatease, mainly at the top, not really anything around the back or sides. It seems to be, you know, the, the volume seems to be at the top and you have less volume towards the bottom. Density, I would say it's about medium. Yeah, I would say it's medium. It's beautiful. I think the cut is so, it's just stunning. You can feel a little bit of the return hairs. And they're sticking out a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me, to be honest with you. So, if you like volume at the top, if you like a little bit of poof, this one would be really good for you. You probably can even get a little bit more if you wanted to. So really poof it up. And you can smooth it down a little bit. I noticed that if I use a wig brush, that sometimes lays the permities down a little bit more and makes it a little bit flatter if you want a bit of a flatter look. Fit wise, now, when I took it out of the box, I have a 21.5 inch circumference, so petite average. It does fit nicely. There isn't much movement in terms of circumference. I don't have much gapping at the back either, and normally I do, so it actually overall fits me really nicely. But the circumference is quite tight. So I think you might get away with a 22 inch. Anything above that, mm, I would double check that. Coverage on the sides, really good on me. Really nice coverage. Ear taps come to about here. So for me, they sit in the right place. 
obviously on both sides. I like this light, light highlight around the face. Really pretty. Talk about colour, let's take you outside. Styling option wise, you can tuck it behind your ear, but there is a little bit of, there is, there is quite a lot of hair there. So I think you will have trouble on this side. As you can see, my ear is sticking out quite a bit. But on this side where you haven't got the sweeping fringe, not a problem. Because of the shorter layers at the at the front, so when you do a half up, half down, they are going to fall out. But obviously, you can clip them back if they're annoying you. A half up, half down on this one is definitely very cute. And a low ponytail. Very cute. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you want and you find these videos useful to you, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram at kwestwix. Thank you again to Trent Wix for sending me this piece. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a lovely day and I also hope I see you soon. Bye.